and as elusive as a ghost. But last time out, it was Michigan's bone-crunching D that haunted Purdue. Meanwhile, the Hawkeyes no longer have to masquerade at the Big Ten party. They have the conference's top-rated passer and skill position talents who would scare any defensive coordinator. And now teams atop the standings are hearing footsteps. ABC Sports welcomes you to sold-out Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa. More than 70,000 fans on hand to watch the Hawkeyes play host to the number eight team of the nation, the Wolverines of Michigan. Well, Sean, this is the biggest game for Iowa this season. And Kirk Ferentz, I think it's probably fair to say this is the biggest game you've had as a head coach here. How uh, prepared are they? I, I think our guys are ready to go. we got a great environment here. This is like old times, so hopefully it'll be a great game today. You've got to be concerned about their speed. How do you contain them? They're, they're an outstanding football team, but we think we're not bad, too. So we're anxious to match up, and we're, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves today. Coach, good luck. And he's anxious to get going on offense for the 24th straight game. Iowa will have the ball first as they won the toss and elected to receive. Hayden Epstein kicks off for Michigan. The veteran place kicker, senior from Cardiff, California. And we're underway on a beautiful day in Iowa City. C.J. Jones running it back for the Hawkeyes. Bounces off a couple of hits and spins out to the 20 of his passes this season. They open with two tight ends and Liddell Betts the only back. And Betts right up the middle. And a quality gain of four receivers and Dallas Clark, the former special team standout, an emerging star at tight end. They expect to throw the ball to the tight end a lot today. They throw it to the back out of the backfield. Jeremy Allen, the fullback. First down, fumbled it out of bounds. They got the others. And in the secondary, Lasour, Drake, June and Howard Marlon Jackson a true freshman will see a lot of work at corner as well that's outside with some running room he's out near the 45 Niall McCann coming off a fine performance last week in their win here over Indiana he hands it off and this time they're ready for that's a loss in the play of three Eric the eight Lone back is Jeremy Allen with two tight ends in the beginning. Blitz off the corner. It's picked up. McCann has his man. First down, Iowa. Chris Oliver out of bounds. 18 yards of total offense in its last two games. First and 10, Hawkeyes. Gets back in there. And he's stacked up for no gain. Now Jeremy Allen. Malone back. This is the seventh play of the opening possession. Wide receiver screen, Khalil Hill. He's dead, he's dead. Iowa likes that play. Ken O'Keefe, the offensive. Third down and a long seven. McCann hands down to the pocket, has to get rid of it. Does not, and is thrown for a sack by the redshirt freshman. He's averaging 36 and a half. Here's the punter. The is a shorter field. Nate Kading, who's also the place kicker, will be a little bit deeper in their own territory. Bradley did not get a very good one. On the way back up after a couple of. The sophomore, Wisconsin native, swings it out of the flat and complete. Looking for B.J. Astenage in Michigan history. On the delay, Askew. For two, he ran in a Derek Pickens and with plenty of weapons, skill position people who can make big plays. The flag down. It's a screen set up for B.J. Askew. He's down short of the football official. Two on third and short. Three wide receivers. Askew the lone back. They throw on third and short, and it's a first down out to the 33-yard bar. Bar is the second leading tackler on the team. Bob Sanders, the safety of. 25 tackles against Indiana. Way ahead of where they expected them to be, losing those four guys to the NFL. Four starters from a year ago playing in the NFL right now as offensive linemen, rookies. And three wide receivers for Michigan on third down, this time third and six. They converted on third and three a moment ago. A quarter blitz, they didn't get there. The pass knocked down, flag thrown, and he sat. Sat makes a nice play on the ball, but it's that contact with his left hand. That was. He didn't alter the route, Sean. Forward to the saying, I have a great personality, and I like that about myself. 
Navar hit as he throws, going deep. And this time, perhaps Bellamy was just spinning himself around trying to pick up the ball. On the delay, Askew. He's out, he's out. Bounces out to the 40. Come up. Another third down, another three wide receivers set. And the pass hits the back of one defender and is picked off by another. It hit Matt Stockdale. It went to Bob Sanders. They're going to roll him down to the 50 yard line. His knee went down at the 50. Bob Sanders, the sophomore from Erie, Pennsylvania, with his second interception of the year, and the Hawkeyes take it away. A rare interception by Navarre. He came into the game with a long interceptionless streak of 125 passes in a row. That one, Sean, throwing into coverage. Stockdale had great position. And the one thing that Bob Sanders, he's a run-stopping safety. The coaches talk about how much better he's gotten in his safety drops. That time, obviously, a little lucky with the bounce off Stockdale's back. But going over to help out, an opportunistic play by Bob Sanders. Streak reached 128 consecutive passes without an INT for Navarre before that pick off by Sanders. On their own 49, first and 10 Hawkeyes. McCann a lot of time. Now he's going to run with some room. And he's down to the 44 of Michigan. High formation now. Jeremy Allen in front of Liddell Betts. That's with some running room to the right. First down and more. Down to the... And stick with Allen and Betts in the eye on first and ten. McCann stumbled back from center. Michigan, now seven in the BCS, looking for some help against the teams ahead of them. Already got some today as Syracuse beat Virginia Tech. One of those ahead of them. And O'Keefe said he's been more than a pleasant surprise. He's been a difference for us in a couple of games this year. McCann and design the rollout in trouble. Belted down at the 46-yard line. Bradley to punt again, the redshirt freshman from San Diego. Out of Torrey Pines High School. A high, booming punt. Too long. Into the end zone, full-time professional baseball player. And that helped Navarre, the coaches say, that he had the... Bulk of the work in spring practice to gel with his teammates. Of course, he saw some action last. Becomes my game plan for this week. He's got three receivers to the left, and then Navarre rolls to the right and throws it away. And again, they bunch the three receivers to the left. Chris Perry, the lone back. Navarre with all day to throw, has his man. First down, Michigan, out to the 40-yard line. Askew, flag thrown. Askew thrown down near the 44. Aaron Camden made the tackle. Went back in the nation. Askew the lone back. Navarre swings it out, and Askew has a lot of green grass, but they're closing in quickly. And he's tackled after a gain of four. Mike Dolezal and Fred Barr. How'd you do? I held him every day. him up on every play, I'm sure. Second and long, Navarre over the middle. And a short gain to Chris Perry, the sophomore. Approaching two minutes left in the first quarter. Four receivers with Navarre out of the gun. Look out. Flag thrown in the backfield. Looked like they might have inadvertently gotten a piece of Navarre's face mask. Original pressure on and might have. He did get the face mask. Still get pressure. Punch the three receivers to the right. Navarre looks right. Zings one too high. Over the head of Ronald Bellamy with Matt Stockdale in coverage. Stockdale's a senior from Iowa Falls. North Parker says he's the most improved player and the most pleasant surprise on their defense. Last year, he was a safety and a part-time cornerback. Just made the switch this year, and it was him in the classroom that made Norm Parker believe that he could be an every-down cornerback for him. I saw Coach Parker there, a 34-year coaching veteran. The punt from Epstein. Khalil Hill, the running back, and he's collared at the 28-yard for Iowa. They generally try to get him in the one possession per game. He's played in four of the first six games this year. He's a junior, a junior college transfer. His pass is deflected off one receiver, caught by another. Caught by Tim Dodge. I'd say the Hawkeyes dodged a bullet on that, Karam. Actually, I wish you had said that. 
Play action fake by Banks. He's a better runner than McCann. His pass behind Clark. And wide receiver is a freshman in junior college. Played quarterback his second season at Hines and led them to an 11 and 1 record. Here's Liddell Betts. Powering for a first down. I want to go sideways. I just want to be going downhill all the time. Thanks for the four man rush. Humphrey logged it in wide open. It's Dodge. Good move at the 25. And down to the 19. The ball was under. First and 10 Hawkeyes on the first play of the second quarter. No score. They're at the Michigan 19. That is Clark. We'll tie you in the motion. That's in the big hole. Inside the 10, inside the 5, and down near the 2-yard line. Michigan opponents averaging just 1.8 yards per rush. Coming into today's game, but Betts doing much better than that. And of course, right on Q, he's dropped for a loss. Back to the 5 by 12 years here on the defensive side of the ball. And he's supporting he got the playoff with one second left. Banks in trouble, but he's a good runner. Needs to throw it now. Did not. Needs to throw it away, and he does. Maybe because of the experience, McCann is a better decision maker. Allen alone back, three wide receivers. Bang, zings wide, touchdown, Dallas Clark. talking at the beginning of the game of the great hands of Dallas Clark and he's had three drops today although every ball was thrown behind him into coverage this will give you an idea of how good his hands are that ball a little behind him and the defender coming up back catches it right in his fingertips great job by Dallas Clark Nate King, yeah, that's the extra point uh, Howard and Marlon Jackson back deep from the one, it's Howard, the senior from Bolingbrook, Illinois. Nice return. The kicker, Kading, had to tackle. Hawkeyes lead 7 0. Good field position for the Wolverines from the 34. Askew got very little because of guys like Dawson. Levar to throw on second down. It's deflected by Dalazol again. She lines up in its base defense, tries to play solid technique and make you earn what you get. Navar throws deep. Caught. Marquise Walker, a terrific catch with Matt Stockton back. Two tight ends in the ball game now. And it's a reverse to Calvin Bell. This is his specialty. Sixth time this year he's carried the ball in a reverse has put himself in position to be on the field for every play. Well, Bellamy in motion. Navar dumps it off for the tight end. Seymour belted back by Benny Sapp. Lots of different formations from Michigan. Not many of them fooling the Hawkeyes. Derek Pickens there to stop B.J. Askew. Into the backfield, Navarro with time, throws, and it is incomplete, and Seymour. And deafening noise from the crowd, Michigan from its own 30. It's Benny Jopru, the backup tight end, well short of the first down. Here we go, the snapper. Epstein, 7 out of 10 in field goals for the year, but this one's wide right all the way. Back to last year. And now it's Kyle McCann back in at quarterback, and he's going to run it on first and 10. Now the pass by Nordia. McCann throws in the flat. Caught by Jeremy Allen. Avoids one tackler. First down, Iowa. Allen out of bounds. And up at fullback in the eye in front of Liddell Betts. Dallas Clark takes in motion. Betts. Nice cut back to the inside. And get back near the line of script. Buses coming off four straight games of at least 100 yards rushing for the surprising Steelers playing great defense. McCann on second down and nearly 10. A screen for Betts. Nice move, but couldn't break the second tackle. Up in Pennsylvania, the same high school that produced the Raiders quarterback, Rich Gannon. Third down and five. The Hawkeyes three for five and third down today. McCann has a man wide open, but he lofted it up there for Hill, and it's incomplete. It's too late, and Charles Drake was able to come over and make a play on the ball. This time, not a very good punt by David Bradley, but it gets a great bounce. 
Bates. Ronald Bellamy didn't stop it, and Tim Dodge is going to down it at the two yard line. Sorry, deceased. John Navarre with his team operating from the shadow of the uprights. So careful with the ball down here. Navarre on the draw. Askew out to the seven. And fighting for every inch. Jeff the tight end. Thompson, Jock Crew, the boot all play a lot. Navarre again with time. Throws. Incomplete. They're bringing guys in to maybe go after it. Right now they have Chris Oliver back for the punt. And it's a short punt. The next team. And at the 42. And Oliver brings it back to the 34. It's rankings we've already had Nebraska's win over Oklahoma. Syracuse upset Virginia Tech. Brad Banks, who led them to the team, the wasn't displeased either. He said, hey, Banks is a good changer. Gives this more of a running threat. And there he goes with a running room. First down inside the 18. And you have the fullback Allen leading up on the linebacker. Three wide receivers now. That's the lone bag. Again, has some running room. The crowd tells him to run, and he takes the advice. John. The fridge, Ralph Region. <laughs> this team would stick to it, its guns, but I don't know with the way it's going. He has to be a bit concerned about how his guys are playing. Wide well, receiver screen, second time they've run that. I agree. It just seemed the way his face looked that he might try to go for it, but this is the right decision. They're hating five out of seven in field goals this year. 26 yard try and Iowa leads 10 to nothing. Bob Howard and Marlon Jackson back for the kickoff from Nate Kading. From the two, it's Howard. And good coverage by Iowa. Norm Parker's defense. Navarre avoids the rush and throws through the hands of the tight end, Benny Jockrud. Has difficulty with that kind of slant and stunning speed. Navarre will throw again, and it is caught. First down and more for Calvin Bell. Out to the 47. Still got to stay in the play and try to make that tackle. And he definitely feared the flag at the game called earlier. Navarre steps up, throws deep, up for grabs, contact. And a flag thrown, Marquise Walker and Bob Sanders. Up. Disregard the flag. Experience. The Dolls was a little bit better against the pass. Second and ten, they hand it off to Bell, who went in motion and took the hand off, and he smothered at the 49. To your screen and maybe try to take a shot. Navarre, with all kinds of time, throws, and it is incomplete or heard footsteps because he took his concentration off the ball. Booming nose up spiral punt by Epstein. A great bounce for him. Hit near the five yard line. Came back on the field. Best. Off the 10 to 11 and Michigan calls a quick timeout. That's lined up down here at the bottom as a track guy. Maybe try to lay one out, a safe throw to the sideline. McCann in trouble. And he's sacked for a one-yard loss to throw inside their own 10. No. A gain of one. Michigan will likely use its last timeout. And will hunters continue for Iowa. Evan Worthy, the snapper. A good snap. Here comes the block, and they get it. Touchdown, Michigan. It was blocked by Zach Kaufman. And recovered by Roy Manning. Touchdown, Wolverines. They had pressure coming from one side, a return set up from the other, and there was miscommunication somewhere in the middle because Kaufman comes clean free, right in the middle of your screen right there. The up back had to pick the inside guy and the right side of that wedge on the punt absolutely whiffed on Kaufman. The up back had to make a decision between two guys running free. Didn't matter who he picked, Sean, because neither of them were blocked. But that's a big play to get the Wolverines back within three. Epstein kicks off. Red Russell. 
Off to the 19-yard line. Timeout left for Iowa. Out to the 23, and here's Kirk Ferentz. They need to cut him a little break. Up the middle, Allen, the ball squirted out. Looked like he was on the ground when he did lose it, but they ruled out a fumble. And takes over. Cato June got it at the 34-yard line. Iowa self-destructing here in the last two minutes of the half. Sean, these are the types of things that Kirk Ferentz said they could not have happened. Ball looked like his knee may have been down. Tough to tell full speed if he was down. And that's what Kirk Ferentz is calling for. But, Sean, how quickly things can turn. And against a team like Michigan, this is what Kirk Ferentz said, very difficult to overcome. Spread formation. Now Michigan thinking about the lead of the half, despite the fact they've been outplayed here in the first half. Navarre trying to capitalize, and it is incomplete. No, that's ruled an interception, even though it was Sapp's helmet, I believe, that came rolling off. There's also a flag down back behind the line of scrimmage. Marquise Walker did contest Sapp on the play. It's holding against Michigan, so that's turned down. Sapp caught the ball. It was his helmet that rolled away. And I will take over at the one. Benny Sapp running stride for stride with Walker. Walker making a lot of contact. What a great catch by Benny Sapp. Walker trying to grab the right arm of Sapp. If he goes down, cradles it. A wonderful play by Sapp. Forward trying to get some room. McCann got it out of the end zone, and they pummel him. Michigan has no timeouts left. In the time, but you also have to get a lot of guys you think you can develop into good players, and that's what he and his staff have been doing. McCann, keep both of whom were very effective in that first half. Now Navarre and a draw. B.J. Askew breaks some tackles, fumbles the football! And Michigan got it back. It looked like it was the type of hit that would cause a fumble. Chris Perry, the running back, and he's wrapped up for a loss. And rushed for just 32 yards in the first half. The reason why Coach Carr was not pleased. Navarre on third down. Throws. Juggling catch. Then it comes out. That's an incomplete pass. Good cross. Bellamy's got to come up with that play. Epstein upon a very high kick. Chris Oliver at the 35. They set up a reverse. C.J. Jones at the 30. Touchdown, Iowa! They love the coaches now. Great job by Oliver getting that ball. Get all the white shirts going one direction. C.J. Jones, who had eight punt returns for touchdowns in junior college. It looked like there was some angles by the Michigan pursuit, but he outran everybody. Took the handoff. 59-yard touchdown reception last week against Indiana, which was the first touchdown of his Iowa career. Cadings kickoff run back by Howard. And they get him on the ground at the 20. Played that way today. And that's Stockdale not back on the field, the starting cornerback. Marquise Walker buried by Grant Steen. Things and has everybody ready for the trick play. Navarre tries to set up a screen. They had that one snuffed out. That quarterback. Third down and 15. Navarre stripped. Gets it back at the 12-yard line. He better control of that ball. It was not raked away by Campman. Epstein punts. Khalil Hill. Look at pop at the McCann. The senior from Preston, Iowa. Teammates call him Steady Eddie because he doesn't get too high or too low. Down, and down. Undoubtedly, he's had to deal with both since McCann's been here home and away with the exception of the game at Arizona, his freshman year in 1998. Pass caught, Khalil Hill. Inside the 35. Inside the 20. 
And they roll him out of bounds back at the 27-yard line. Heel back and make a block to Spring Hill. And the eight-yard gain for the senior from Iowa City. Betts tackled by the 14. Jeremy Allen, the lone bag. He takes the handoff. A flag down to the play. Allen down to the 25-yard line. Larry Foote made the primary hit, and Victor Hobson helped finish Allen off. Dallas Clark a little slow getting up. Looks like he might got, got a stinger. Second and six. McCann throws incomplete. They're down in six. Hill went in motion. McCann in the design rollout looking for Hill. He's open. The ball not. David Bradley the holder. That one is good. Second field. Throws by the line of scrimmage. Double passes and they've snuffed them all out. Todd Howard from the board. Good coverage by the Hawkeyes. And he's down to the 14-yard line. Well, we apologize to young Mr. Constantine, but they don't have a number 37 <laughs> listed anywhere on their flip charts or rosters. So we were unable to identify him other than taking the name right off his jersey. But he made the tackle on special teams. It was Sean Considine, by the way, a redshirt freshman from Byron, Illinois. A special teams play. They're trying to get the ball to Marquise Walker. Took place for me. Chris Perry in the back. Takes the handoff. Running left on third and short. And he put his shoulder down and appeared to get the first down. Perry High School. In the same night he was named homecoming king, he went out and set the school record with four interceptions in one game. Chris Perry again driven back. After a gain to the 27-yard line, trying to get the ball down the field. The bar deep drop, and he is sacked back at the 20-yard line. I mean, this Michigan attack, their only score was on a block punt for a touchdown. The bar on third and 15, going deep, up for grabs, caught! Tyrese Butler tackled at the three-yard line. And he grabs to talk to him. They certainly missed Stockdale on that play. Perry, touchdown, Michigan. First touchdown of the season for Chris Perry. The sixth of his career in the Wolverines. Are within seven with the extra point to come. Stan Parrish talking about John Navarre. Big guy with a really good arm. He's got the arm to make every throw in their offense. And that time, found Ejiasi sleeping a little bit back there. Made a very, very nice throw. The extra points. Dave Epstein will kick off. A little Hill and Fred Russell back deep. This is Russell, the true freshman. He's from Eastern Michigan. Near Detroit. The Big Ten. He's had one bad game against Michigan. Has played fairly well today. They need to lighten up. McCann steps up, runs. There's a flag down in the offensive backfield. McCann, referee, threw the flag for holding against Iowa. Walked on the Iowa basketball team here after his two freshman football season. Out of the flat, it's Khalil Hill. Trying to make a one-on-one -on -one move, but he couldn't get away from... And I cheated. Second and 18. McCann throws. Nice catch on a high throw. C.J. Jones. Not over his career. Jane and Steve. Big third down. McCann throws, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Jackson, the true freshman with his third interception. Of the season. That leads the team. And he was looking for Khalil Hill. Michigan takes over first and ten in Iowa territory near the 35-yard line. And that's just a fantastic job by a true freshman, Marlon Jackson. What they've done all year long with their cornerbacks, they have three guys that rotate in there as they make them compete during the week, and Marlon Jackson has really stepped up in the last couple weeks. A great read on the ball by him. Navarre, touchdown would give him the lead. He's going for the end zone for Walker. Batted down. Benny Sapp. Movement along the Michigan offensive line. 
Three wide receivers. They throw it out of the flat, and it's almost intercepted by Grant Steen. Navarre on third down and 15. Throws and it is caught by Walker for a first down for Walker. Chris Perry the long back on the draw first and 10. And he's driven back. No gain on the play. Indicate regularly. Navarre hands it off to Calvin Bell. He's run down by Fred Barr. Interesting formation, a tight formation, and it's Askew comes out of it with the ball and a first down. 15-yard gain for Askew. Askew into the middle and down at the five-yard line. Butler that set up a Michigan score. Now Michigan threatening to take the lead for the first time today. The bye throws. Incomplete. Dropped in the end zone by Walker. They clock at one as they snap it. Navarre, all kinds of time in the end zone. What a catch! Touchdown, Walker! Making up for the drop in acrobatic fashion. Well, Sean, North Parker can coach his defense all he wants. He's got double coverage inside and out with Sapp and Sanders. But when people have athletic ability like that, it doesn't matter how well your guys are coached. What a sensational play by Marquise Walker. And the extra point up and good from Hayden Epstein. And Banks has been a little more stagnant offensively with McCann at quarterback. Fred Russell. The freshman runs it back to the 26. And the fans have received their wish. Brad Banks, the quarterback. Play action, pass, and it's batted down by Larry Foote. Ten. And the flag from a lot of movement along the line of scrimmage. Hook in the final minute of the third quarter. For Brad Banks, second and 15. Banks throws, caught Khalil Hill out of bounds, short of the first down. Toward Iowa's touchdown on the punt return. Third down and two. Banks could run for the first down. Oh, he ran out short of the marker. He's got a seam. He's in there because he can run with the ball. A very poor decision. And eight Kading punts. Marquise Walker fair. Likely the final play of the third quarter. Askew. Tackled by Sanders and Barr. And and 10. And their own 23-yard line. Navarre is an in and open. Flag throw. Two flags down. Ball down. Bell down. Iowa ball. But there are two flags down. Calvin Bell caught it, then fumbled. Grant Steen recovered the fumble. Bob Sanders delivered the hit that knocked it out. And there were two flags thrown at the line of scrimmage. Holding, offense, penalty is declined. First of McCann back at quarterback. From the Michigan 35, Betts, nowhere. Back to the line of scrimmage. Curiously slowed down and went sideways instead of diving forward for the first down. Obviously put McCann back in the game. Well, the tight end, Clark, flinched again. To do every little thing right. Michigan showing blitz. McCann throws a very short game to the tight end Clark. Forward progress to the 37. Virginia Tech already upset. Michigan trying to avoid the upset. McCann on third and long. Flush for the pocket. Dumps it off. Allen and a lot of room up the sideline. First down inside the 10. Out of bounds. Bets up the middle. Still driving. Touchdown! Katie didn't run on the field, the kicker, but they pulled him back off, Sean. They have to go for two here. Well, it's not a definite at this point in the ball game, but they're going to try to go for two and get a seven-point lead. 
Boy, you got to feel for Drake. You've got a 240-pound fullback blowing you up, and you have a 215-pound running back behind him. He didn't have a chance. That was just what they say. We're going to have a Big Ten game here. That's Big Ten. They're going for two to try to go ahead by seven. They lead by five right now, 26-21. McCann with a lot of time. Throws. Flag now. Pass it. Your free safety, although he's a big free safety. Pass on the first. Defense. Blitz, bets, lunges, didn't get it. Leads by five. And it's Howard. Tripped up, balls on the ground. Michigan got it back. And just 13 out of 30 passing. One touchdown, two interceptions, going deep for Walker, broken up. He's been a starter in the past, but bothered lately by a sore knee. A lot of injuries on this defense for Iowa, but they're hanging in there. Ass lumber yard, one of the reasons he's the size he is. Navarre deep drop, third down and eight, going deep and just too deep. Too much air under the ball. Epstein just got the punt off with Pagel coming after him. Khalil Hill. Nifty return. Three wide receivers. Fidel bets the lone back. And they hand it to him and Larry Foote. Stop three with John Saunders and Terry Bowden. In dodge in motion. McCann under pressure. Steps up nicely. Throws deep. It's up for grabs. And it is a battle. Won by Cato June. Looking for blockers. At his own 40. And out of bounds at the 49-yard line. McCann threw a duck. And Dodge almost ripped it away from June. A 31-yard return for June after his second interception of the year. McCann knowing that Dodge has the speed, Sean, but this ball floated. Had good coverage by the safety. That was not a good throw by McCann. Not a good decision. Not a good release on the ball. And Dodge does everything he can to get it away. And a nice return by June. Dodge tried, but June won the battle. Navarre throws incomplete. Intended for Walker. He can play against guys like that. Second and ten. Navarre wanting to throw again. The pump fake in the direction of Walker. Now he lost it up for Walker. Oh, he's taken down by Sapp. What happened today? Seventh penalty against Iowa. Back to the ground with Askew. Very little, and he got punished. Navarre on second down. Now the only undefeated team in... ACC play, that's in jeopardy. Michigan, the only undefeated team in Big Ten play. That's in jeopardy, but they're on the move on the pass to Walker. First down to the 21-yard line. Reading his eyes, trying to come underneath one of those. Six catches now for Walker. Five of them here in the second half. Ask you. To the 19, gang tackled again. Roger Meyer did last year with four games to go. Navarre hands off to Ask you. Hands off to Bell on the reverse. Navarre to throw on third and two, and the traffic caught. Touchdown, Michigan, Sean Thompson. And now Michigan will likely go for two to take a three-point lead. A 13-yard touchdown reception by Thompson. Just his third catch of the year and his first touchdown. And boy, Bob Sanders was just one step late. Fred the game winning touchdown reception from Tom Brady in overtime as they beat Alabama in the Orange Bowl. Walker's wide open. How you can lose that man, I don't know, but Iowa did. The two point conversion for Michigan. Dean to kick off. Michigan leads by three. Eight and a half minutes left. Double yards deep in the end zone. Fred Russell. Flag thrown, two flags thrown. 
And the fans boo as McCann comes back in. In the fourth quarter, he's more comfortable in the pocket. McCann hit as he throws. It's an incomplete pass. He's thrown for 115 yards. Bet. Couldn't get outside. That's the 11. Ohio over top 10 team was in 1996. Penn State then ranked number 10, 21 to 20. And quarterback Matt Sherman over the middle incomplete. Intended for Chris Oliver. It's Clark. He was in his zone. Just read that. Hating a short line drive kick. He gets the roll. Six catches, 61 yards for Walker. A touchdown and a two-point conversion. He started on the ground with Askew. The fellow shot first before he tries to put us out of our jobs. They stay on the ground. Askew to midfield. All right, John, it's never over when you play Stanford. They score a lot, but they give up a lot. Big third down here with six minutes to go. Navarre throws, and it is caught. Very well. Back to the ground, Askew. Cut it inside and was take a look at him. They have, and now he's their best defensive player as a sophomore. No running room for Askew. It'll be third down and five. Navarre rolls away from the receivers out to the left, throws it up for grabs, incomplete. He had to get rid of it in 1999 at Michigan State. That shares the school record. This is a 51-yard try. It is long enough. It is good from 51 with room to spare. Hayden Epstein, who just drilled a 51-yard field goal, kicks off in the end zone. Fred Russell, the freshman, lost the 25, flag down. They're killing themselves with penalties on kickoff return. Hmm. And you know the fans are thinking about the 90 yards to take the lead with an extra point. McCann throws, man open, caught first. To the left is McCann. First and 10 from their own 22. He has time. Pulls it down. Runs toward the sideline. Out of comes in motion. For the most part, the Michigan defense has done a good job on him. McCann sings one. First down, C.J. Jones. Just so that the offensive coaches from Iowa can't get into a pattern on what to call every time. Here comes the blitz. McCann gets away, throws it away. They do have enough time with the timeouts. They don't have to throw on every down. They can utilize Betts or Allen, but they've thrown on every down so far. McCann over the middle. And C.J. Jones, a big tackle feed on third down. This is third and two, and likely four down territory given the situation. Looked like the offensive line moved, and they stopped the play. Looked like the left guard, Eric Steinbach. The clock's running down to two minutes left. There's McCann. Gave the signal. Here comes a blitz. McCann throws. Caught. First down. This drive started at the Iowa 10. They're at the Michigan 48. McCann, the quickie to C.J. Jones. Close to another first. Michigan defense has tried four different blitzes. None of them are working because of the command of the offense. Taking a lot of time to get the plays in. The play clock all the way down to 10. Down the seam and through the hands of Dallas Clark. Can just to pick those guys up. Third and one. High formation. Two tight ends. Betts did not appear to get the first down. On fourth and one, Allen and Betts in the eye. Two tight ends. Play action, pass, and he overthrew it. He was looking for Chris Oliver, who was running open, and McCann's pass was too long. It was a great fake to Betts. Barring a miracle now, Michigan is going to hang on and remain undefeated in Big Ten Conference play. But it was a block by the fullback, Jeremy Allen, on Larry Foote. He went to cut Foote and completely missed. Larry Foote made a very nice adjustment on the cut block, 
and got into the face of McCann. And about the call on fourth and one going for it all. And now Navarre will take an E. And Iowa will use its remaining timeout. But that Navarre takes the snap and Iowa can't stop it. Ball. Now for Leslie Goodell and Ed Cunningham, Sean McDonough saying so long from Iowa City, Iowa. This is ABC Sports, continuing the tradition of excellence.